this is getting really dangerous really fast all right things are escalating at, in every country around the world we are seeing an escalation and this is not good all right we just saw 25 over 25 missiles launched from north korea all right very devastating very scary to see this happen and this the easily one of these could have a nuclear warhead attached to them all right we don't know exactly what technology north korea has and we don't know what technology has been shared with north korea as well all right and north korea they should be able to do you know missile tests but launching 25 different missiles at once and they are flying over japan and landing in the waters of south korea all right so it's pretty extreme it's pretty scary for people over there in asia it is tense and we are seeing all this military movement we are seeing all this movement from china china is building up as well they're preparing for something huge the united states is moving nuclear bombers into australia and into guam all right big things are happening and now North Korea is doing this. North Korea, by the way, uh, offered, I think it was 300,000 troops to Russia, all right? So big things are happening and we could see North Korea dragged into this conflict as well. So let's, let's get into the details of what's going on here because it was very scary for the people in Japan and South Korea air raid sirens all this stuff the whole nine yards was going on all right and when is it going to just actually happen and is this going to drag the united states into a giant conflict all right so let's uh let's dive into this it says japan's emergency broadcasting system said the missile flew over and passed japanese territory it sent evacuations warning warnings to residents in the areas of Miyagi, Yamagati, and Nigati, urging them to stay indoors. I don't really know what, I mean, if a missile's coming, it's coming, staying indoors isn't really gonna help, but they gotta tell you to do something, all right? And in South Korea, we'll, we'll get into this in just a second, it was even worse. So it says South Korea's news, news agency reported, the missile went through a stage separation suggesting it may be a long range weapon. All right, it said, on Wednesday, North Korea fired 25 missiles of various kinds, including one that landed close to South Korea's waters. The president effectively called it a, quote, territorial invasion by a missile. All right, that's how close it was to their waters, close it was to their shores. Quote, a territorial invasion by a missile. That's what the president has called it and it says it was the most North Korea has ever fired in a single day. And it said air raid sirens were triggering in certain South Korean iron islands. Sorry about that. And they were forcing residents to evacuate and telling them to go underground, all right? So I just wanted to get all this raw news out for you. I wanted to read it for you of everything going on. So this this could happen here what what happens when it's america next all right it's so easy to just like put this stuff on the back burner and just be like oh it's over there it's over here it's over there but for millions of people it's not over there it's right in front of them imagine looking up and seeing an icbm or whatever kind of missile flying overhead all right I'm getting chills just thinking about that because I can imagine it, a missile flying through the sky. This is real for a lot of people. And the thing is too, it may not be a problem for you now, right? You may be somewhere far away from this area. I'm not anywhere near Japan or South Korea, but if they get hit, it could drag the United States into a international conflict. It could drag NATO into this. It could drag Australia into this. It could drag a whole host of different countries into a international conflict if we see this escalation. And 
honestly, I feel like North Korea is one of these kind of proxy states. Like, yes, they are a real country, but they couldn't even, they couldn't exist without China, right? They are essentially propped up by China from my from my knowledge, okay? Maybe I'm completely wrong on this, but from what I've researched, it seems like they are propped up by China because all the other countries have trade embargoes, trade sanctions on North Korea, and the only one that doesn't essentially that will trade with North Korea in the region is China, and they are propping them up and giving them a lot of, you know, the technology, things like that, and just maybe kind of the the will to do it maybe china kind of gives them the backing of like like hey you can you can launch a missile over japan who knows who knows because that's just antagonizing the u.s antagonizing nato antagonizing japan and that's kind of what china wants right china's not allies with these countries and maybe china uses north korea as kind of a proxy state to do the things that they want to do and we could see north korea used as a proxy to maybe launch a something big right something huge who knows this this is just speculation i'm speculating i could be wrong on this but it sure seems like china uses north korea as a prop a lot of time and guys a North Korean EMP by congressional studies, all right? This this was a congressional study, I think in like 2018, a couple years ago, all right? And it said approximately 90% of the United States population would not make it through the first year, would not make it after an EMP. So a North Korean EMP could potentially wipe out the electrical grid, and it was saying most 90, it was said literally 90%. Go look this up. It's all real. 90% of Americans would not make it from this situation. All right. This was a congressional report. They paid people millions of dollars to do this study. And that's what they came up with. All right. So this is very serious, very real. We could see, we could see something from North Korea. Or North Korea could be the one to blame. No North Korea could be used as a scapegoat as well. I'm just thinking outer dimension as well of, of what else could be going on. So let me know what you think about this. Very serious for the people in Japan and South Korea. Let's hope nothing happens. But it seems this has been happening once a week at least, multiple times a week. This is the most they've ever launched so pretty serious it's getting kind of scary for the people in this region all right i would definitely be worried and not want to live there if i lived in japan or south korea just being honest so let me know what you think let me know if you live there thank you guys for watching you have a big old blessed day